totally realise and completely accept that this is old news, but I've only just recently been made aware of this, even though it happened like way back in September because I've been trying to keep up with the story. But as far as I understand, this woman is still being harassed, right? Police apologised to Christian campaigner arrested after silently praying outside of abortion clinic. And everybody was like, eh, that's not what it was. She was trespassing. No, she wasn't. She was in a public street. She was in a public street. So shut your face. Uh, police have apologised to a woman who was arrested after she silently prayed outside outside an abortion clinic. Isabel Von Spruce, a Christian campaigner who runs the anti-abortion group March for Life UK, was detained for what she's described as simply the thoughts I held in my own mind, which is literally what she was arrested for, outside the BPAS Robert, uh, Robert Clinic in Birmingham. Footage from the time caused outrage among some who felt the arrest was straying into a dangerous, dangerous area for the law, while others said restrictions are vital for the well-being of parents uh, who choose to legally terminate a pregnancy well then they're not parents then are they <laughs> i'm just saying uh, officers intervened after they suspected she fell foul of regulations introduced last year banning people from intimidating or harassing someone within 150 meters of an abortion clinic Ooh, she prayed Ooh, oh all these dangerous christians Praying, ooh, terrible fucking send in the jackboots, boys. Uh, Von Spruce uh, was arrested at the Birmingham Clinic just weeks after she was found not guilty for doing the same thing weeks earlier in December of 2022. You know, that really intimidating Christian woman sitting there in silence. She's just standing there menacingly. <laughs> Uh, but West Midlands police have since told her she will face no further action. How kind. How nice of them. How lovely. Uh, the force emailed to say the limitation of proceedings expired on September the 6th and said, I again apologise for the time this case has taken to come to this position. So what happened was, basically, whenever you're originally arrested, the police have to file official charges. They've got a certain time limit. I think it's... 60 days, I don't know, you know, it's been a while since I've, you know, had any interactions with the police, thankfully, but uh, basically I think they have to file the charges within 60 days, if they don't it just falls off and that's it, but I think what happened is the police arrested her, they put her in a cell and went, oh we're going to be charging you with XYZ, nobody had the stones to fucking uh, put the put, file the charges, and I think what happened is even the procurator fiscal were going like, you did what? <laughs> you arrested a woman for silently praying in her head? That looks kind of bad. And they were right. It does look absolutely terrible. It looks absolutely fucking awful that the police not only did this in the first place, but you had all these leftists online that were, you know, the ones that apparently hate the government and hate the cops sitting there going, and well, actually, her sitting there thinking thoughts in her head could make the baby killers feel bad. <laughs> like, that's it. That's what, that was unironic shit that people were saying. No, she pays for her taxes, pay for those streets. She's allowed to stand in those fucking streets and she's allowed to protest in any way that she wants, right? But she wasn't causing a fuss. She wasn't causing problems. She wasn't attacking people. She wasn't yelling at people, which some, you know, uh, abortion protesters do. You know, they sit and hold up the signs and scream at people as they go in. She sat there in silence praying in her head and still got arrested. Uh, Von Spruce said, This isn't 1984, but 2023. I should never have been arrested or, in or investigated simply for the thoughts I held in my own mind. And she is 100% absolutely correct. See any of this, oh, you can't do such and such within a building? Nah, fuck you. See if anything's legally declared public property, people are allowed to protest on it. Those are, these are the same excuses that leftists give whenever they do their, well, I call them protests, I call them excuses to loot and steal. I'm just saying, you know, if you want to have a, you know, if you want a new flat screen telly, go to a leftist protest. Leftist protest, profitable. Profitable as fuck. You need a PS5? Yeah, George Floyd. Fucking go grab yourself a fucking PS5, man. I'm just saying. There's been times that I've been tempted. I've just sort of been like, ah, I kind of want that fancy new PS5 controller. The one where you can map the keys. I'll just black block up and go get myself one and then if i get arrested i'll get bailed immediately and people will start to go fund me for me like, I'm, oh, I'm just saying uh, silent prayer is never criminal i welcome west midlands police decision to end their investigation and their apology for the time it took to do so but it's important to highlight the extremely harmful implications of this ordeal not just for myself but for everyone concerned with fundamental freedoms in the uk 
with which are fastly going down the fucking toilet. I mean, we literally the police kind of went, "Oh no, that was a little bit too far." At this point, it was a little bit too far. In the future, they will be arresting you and they will be filing charges. Basically, the, the, this was them doing the end game. They did a little bit of the end game, and everybody went, "What are you doing? You don't don't show them the real stuff just yet." And the police went, "Oh, okay," and then just didn't file the charges. But you know, I'd give it about six years, and yeah, we'll be. Rounding up those preachers off the streets, let me tell you. <laughs> Give it about six years. Uh, what happened to me signals to others that they too could face arrest, interrogation, investigation, and potential prosecution if caught exercising their basic freedom of thought. Yeah, people have noticed that. Lots of people have been noticing that. That's the plan. That's the game plan. The cops want that. They did this as a chilling effect to basically, you know, scare people out of doing this. Oh, did you pray? Ooh, you prayed evil criminal. Uh, in the viral video, officers ask Miss Von Spruce to step outside the exclusion zone that exists around the clinic. However, she tells officers that she is not protesting and not engaging in any of the activities prohibited. Police respond, Police respond, but you've said you're engaging in prayer, which is the offence, to which she replies, silent prayer. The officer then says, no, but you were still engaging in prayer. It is an offence. It is an offence to engage in prayer. So basically, not only were the rights to free speech infringed upon but also the rights uh, freedom of religion was uh, infringed upon as well to which miss von spruce answered i disagree she was then arrested by six officers because that's the problem even though miss von is completely 100 percent in the right to do what she is doing uh, unfortunately people who are heroically fucking wrong about everything are in charge and uh, own the monopoly on violence which is unfortunate. Uh, the force uh, had said she was bailed while officers spoke to residents and local employees. MPs later rejected attempts to allow silent prayer outside abortion clinics in England and Wales amid warnings new buffer zone measures risk, risk making thought crime a reality. I mean, it already was. She was arrested and charged for it. Well, not charged, but she was arrested for it. But yeah, I haven't been keeping up with this case. I believe that this isn't really truly the end of it because I believe she's been back uh, and she's had a little bit of trouble as well, but I think she's only got warnings. I'll need to have a little bit more of a look into this case. Right, but <clears throat> one thing that I have noticed, right, I'm not a Christian man myself, you know, my last name's Meekin though, so I come from a Catholic background, you know, and I was unfortunate enough to go to a non-denominational school, as they call it, so, you know, I've been... I've been called a Tegan Athenian once or twice, right? So, but even despite that, the whole religion thing, it's never really been for me, right? I'm not Christian. But have you not noticed that it's open season on Christians? Have you noticed that? Like, they can get arrested and dragged off the streets and fucking everybody can attack them freely online and stuff like that. Like, see, for example, if you go onto, like, any atheist boards and stuff like that and bring up, like, Muslims or Jews, <laughs> that's when they're all like... <gasps> Like panicking, you know, their fedora just fl flies off their head and they're like, oh, don't talk about those ones and everything. Like, I've just noticed that it is absolutely open season on Christians where Christians will get arrested off the street for essentially being Christian and like silently praying in their head and you're getting everyone like, yeah, and it's like, no, that's, you know, that's fucked up. You know that, like, I'm not Christian, but that's fucked up. That's a violation of human rights. Yeah, but Christians used to burn witches at the state. Yeah, 400 fucking years ago, pal. Right, not not anymore. They're not doing that now, Jesus. But, you know, it happened in the past. You know, wait till you hear about what the Muslims are doing. <laughs> doing currently, you know. But still, basically, one thing I can tell you for absolute certainty, if it was a Muslim woman praying outside, that the police would have went, oh, fuck. And, like, they would not have touched her. They absolutely would not have touched her. So, basically... There is open season on Christians. The police will arrest Christians, not a problem, but Muslims, the police shit themselves uh, because I don't know if this is true. Apparently, the police have been told to back off the Muslim community uh, completely because they are worried about repercussions. Which, you know, immigration is what happens. But yeah, this is absolutely terrible. I'm glad that she's had uh, everything dropped. I hope she's being left alone. I don't know if she is. I'll need to, I'll need to uh, arrive back at her and uh, have a look at that. But... Still, arrested for silently praying. Uh, the police did, oh yeah, we're sorry and we didn't file charges. Uh, our, our bad, yeah, you say that now, but you know, in about six years it'll be a very different story.